hello to everybody from TV Tim Beaver and Wool Shop again. This is one of our first videos where we would like to introduce you to our monthly favourites. And this is summer months June. So the first yarn we have chosen for you is quite summery. It's quite what I would call fashion yarn. So this one is called Margherita. It is from Adrepil from Italy. So it's made in Italy, so it's nice, good quality. It is 62% cotton, 30% viscose, 7% poly, 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 I mean, and polyester, 1% polyester, but it is 62% cotton. So it is quite nice uh, weight for summer and it's not overheating you. So what I have done in this yarn is my new project, which is this one. And as the yarn is called Margarita, our new shawl is called Margot, so it's a bit of crazy auntie shawl, well, like me, for example. And as you can see when I'm trying to put it on, the yarn is knitted on a large needles for this project, on 6.5 millimeter needles. So that gives the yarn a really nice drape. It is quite heavy, it's not stretchy yarn because it's cotton, and maybe on a close-up you will see that it has all sorts of bubbles in it and the shawl we have done in five colors we have combined it all in a kit so this one is the first color then we have the red Oops. the navy blue is red and the other two colors gray and I would call that turquoise so all those five colors are in this show one ball of each and then on end I think tassels are a bit in thing so I have made nice little tassels so for tassels I will show you an end of the video I will show you how to make these because I couldn't believe that I have people coming in and asking me how to make tassels have you been in a girl guides they don't teach you tassels anymore, do they? But anyway, I will show you. So, the other yarn is totally opposite. As this one, let's, let's say there is, the balls are nice and hard. This one is something which I really fall in love with. And I fall in love with this uh, a few weeks ago when I have tried my old mitten, which some of my Facebook followers already have seen. I'm sorry, I haven't got to the second mitten yet, so you need to wait for the pattern. But I really fall in love. I know West Yorkshire Spinners have had this yarn, which is uh, West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece 100% Blue Fleece Leicester in a stock for quite a while. But somehow, I think because of the color scheme, which is a natural and undyed colors, I have kind of missed it. You know what I mean? It's been in the catalogue's last page and I have missed it. And I really regret it because the yarn is beautiful. It's Once it start, you start knitting it, it's so soft. It's so beautiful. And the variegated one, which looks like that in a skein, I will show you the back of the mitten because that one shows you how the colours gradually change. So it's kind of self-striping a little bit. But the softness is beautiful. So we have two totally opposites. One is quite unstretchy fashion. The other one is quite classic, soft, beautiful, British manufacturing, British yarn. And you can't get better than that. So, this now for the second part of the video, I would like to show you how to make those tassels here. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many people have told me they don't know how to make a simple tassel and it can't be much easier than what I will show you. Basically, you need to find an object, a flat little piece. This one is a coaster which I use under my coffee in a shop. This is the tassel and what I'm looking for is to match the length of the tassel with the object I will be winding my yarn around. So that's as simple as that. If it's a credit card, if you want a small tassel, or something like this size or even a book if you would like to have a huge one up to you but what you start with this one is just a piece of yarn 
I'd have cut and this one needs to be reasonably strong because this one you will try to tie all the threads together this one is what will hold your tassel all together so for that we have the our uh, coaster we have our yarn and if yarn you're using for your tassel is a bit kind of weak from the weaker or fluffier yarns uh, you can even take any like thicker just nice matching color of something a bit stronger like a cotton thread or whatever you fancy so put that one across and what I have prepared here is three strands as I have these ones are leftovers from my scarf when I finished knitting and made all my tassels that's what's left over still and what I have here is one two and three strands one of each color so I have their strands like that and now all I'm doing put this one across and start winding the yarn over the coaster and over the thread like that don't worry about the ends being slightly longer because you can always do a little bit of haircut on your tassel once you've finished and uh, these tassels this size and thickness I did with winding three strands together around 10 times uh, but it can vary if you want your tassel to be bulkier or you want your tassel to be slightly more slimline you just adjust the number of times you or the strands you wind around your coaster so there we go so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right there's my flowery unboxing scissors just cut the threads off right and as you can see my threads are even a little bit overlapping all you need to do now is make sure you push your thread up to the top right so you have those ends reasonably even and now you use this thread and just tie very very tight knot like so right over the strands and another time so this one now fixed all your strands together now hold on to this so they don't mix up with the rest of the yarn oops i already done that so this one is the end where i chopped off this one is the ones which i tied together and now you just slide it off your coaster like so and see what happens i have here a loop which is tied with the string so now i kind of even it all down a little bit keep my string separate now i think which color to use let's use this one now i make sure again i will cut double because i just like to tie my knots really tight and sometimes the trouble is when you pull it and your yarn is weak you just break the yarn and i don't want that to happen so i have double the piece of string i take my tassel and now what I need to do is actually tie this yarn or piece of string around like that. Can you see? It's like making a little bubble on the top. Right. And how you do that is again, I'm just tying simple knots. Nothing fancy, nothing too special. Just one knot. And make sure that's when you check that your once you finish your knot you want these strings to be the length of the tassel so that's tied yeah so you can see this one has created where i tied it around i've created a nice little head on my tassel can you see that no you can't it's a bit too far so that's where i tied the string over now Basically, now we are ready to haircut. Well, haircut, right. We're cutting the tassel. And now all I'm doing is putting my scissors in, cutting up the loops. Make sure I cut all of them. There. Now it just needs a little bit of trimming. 
you see, you see there's a couple strands which are slightly longer. So we'll do here, not to make a mess in the middle of the table. So, how long did it took? A minute or two? And now, for this scarf, my tassel has a bead on top. And now all I need to do would be easier, of course, if I would have a large needle. Because I don't have it. Or I do have it, but I don't know where. Like normal. It's easier when you cut all the ends in. So that is the thread which we had across the coaster still. I just cut it in the same length so it's easier to manipulate. And I have one of those lovely beads. And now I'm trying to push all the threads through. Which of course doing it on a camera will not happen, isn't it? Oh come on. I know the hole is big enough. Right, this one is coming to the point of embarrassing. Oops. Right. Can we? Can we? Yes we can. Oh come on. Go through. I put two through. There's the third one. Yeah, let's put two through. Come on. Yeah. I put three threads through. Yeah, that's one thing you do need to kind of, if you would like to put the beads on your tassel like this, you need to kind of find the bead with large enough hole to do that because if your holes are very tiny then you possibly can just tie it and use sewing thread and stitch sewing thread through to go up through the bead and there we go and there's my bead on the tassel and now you can use these two strands on each side to stitch it on or tie it on whatever you would like to do and sorry the camera today is a bit far from me because I have lost my uh, for a day, I have lost my little camera girl. Uh, she should be back next week, so we hope our uh, videos will improve this the time. But meanwhile, keep knitting. Enjoy our favourites. And uh, next week, uh, there will be a bit of a revelations. We will be reve revealing our stash. So I don't want to say much more. So keep subscribing to our channel. Uh, keep watching us. Uh, let us know what you think about our videos. If you want to know anything more about the yarn or the projects uh, featured, of course, ask us a question and we will try to come back to you as soon as we can. But meanwhile, so our favourites for this month's Adriafil Margarita and West Yorkshire Spinners a Blue Face Leicester Fleece. See you all soon.